reason I decided to redesign English 1160 was because I was noticing in my students there was a real lack of self-confidence in their writing abilities. And in talking to my colleagues, I know that they were having the same concerns. And this lack of confidence, this lack of self-confidence was coming across as sort of the bumps on log syndrome where we had students in the classroom who weren't outwardly participating, they were sort of staying behind their books or behind their computer screens. We'd have a handful of students in class participating in discussion every day, but the rest, we had difficulty pulling it out of them. It wasn't that they couldn't do it, it was that they didn't feel confident in their ability to do it. So, we, uh, I decided to redesign the course in order to see um, if I could provide more of what I know helps the students feel self-confident. So the, the elements that I noticed that were, um, that were giving students the, the greatest amount of confidence uh, were interacting with librarians and um, through having small focus groups where they could work in small groups and bounce ideas off of each other. Traditionally, we've been doing this for about one week a semester. During one week of, of the Comp 2 course, students would meet with a librarian and they would go through an activity, they would learn about databases and research, and um, in that, during that time they would also meet in small groups uh, focused with, with students of their own discipline. Uh, and so that only happened during one week, but after that week, students would always report that that was the most useful week of the entire semester for them. So I wanted to see if that was possible to extend that through all 16 weeks of the semester. And in doing so, I had to employ some blended classroom techniques. I had to invite the librarians in and have them help me orchestrate some activities and build scaffolding for the curriculum. Um, and it turned out to be a really successful project. So I piloted the course in spring 2016. Um, so I, the, after the initial pilot, I compared my English 1160 Section D from spring 2016 to my English 1160 Section D from fall 2015. And what I found was that the final grades of my students, the average final grade, had increased by almost eight points. The median grade was statistically insignificant, however, the, uh, the standard deviation had dropped from about 11% to about 3%. So I had fewer outliers and I was more sure that my students were getting a more streamlined and more individualized uh, instruction. So by the following semester, fall 2016, I implemented this even further. I strengthened some of the uh, blended uh, classroom techniques. Uh, I emphasized those. I worked with the library to create more videos and, and to allow for more online interaction with librarians. Um, and then tried it one more time. Uh, and, and again, the grades were, were high and, and they were, the final grades were looking good. But I also surveyed my students and asked them questions about, you know, what worked and what didn't. And across the board, they all said that meeting with the librarians was essential because they understand that these librarians, you know, I'm, I'm only going to have them for the semester. I have them for English 1160 and that's it. But the librarians are theirs for the rest of their career. So now they have relationships that they can carry with them past my classroom. Uh, and then also, they have relationships with each other in a way that they can now collaborate and understand how writing develops as a social process. I learned that students, students feel most comfortable with me and they feel most comfortable with their projects when we've been able to look each other in the eye and have a real conversation about that project. And it's even better when there is a small group of students who understand where they're coming from because they're maybe majoring in the same thing or in a similar field, right? And those students can bounce ideas off of each other. So the small focus groups, in blending my classes, uh, I had my students, instead of meet as one full group, I had them meet in small groups 
uh, according to their major discipline, according to the kinds of databases that they would use in their discipline. And that allowed them to have those conversations during every class meeting, which is something that we never had before. So instantly the bumps on log problem was gone because every student was speaking up during every single class meeting. And in surveying my students after the semester, I was getting comments like, I'm usually so shy that I don't speak up, but I felt like I got to learn more about my project because I had to talk in class. Or, I'm new to this school and I didn't have any friends before I took this class. Now I have a friend who's in my major and is helping me with my classes. These are the comments that I was getting. So we were creating communities not just you know for a particular project, but also for the students to continue that lifelong learning together.